Hello and welcome to another YouTube video on my YouTube channel. So today I am wanting to talk about the terrorist Shamima Begum. She headed over to Islamic State territory in 2014 and now the cheeky bitch wants to return to the UK. But unfortunately sweetie, we don't want you back because the day you made that decision of going joining the enemy, you made a bed to lie in. All this that's going around social media, we should feel sorry for, we should feel sorry for. No, we shouldn't. We should feel sorry for the people. For example, at the Manchester Arena bombings, 22 people died. And you, Princess, made a statement on live news saying that the Manchester Arena bombings was justified. You're really wanting the sympathy, folk, for coming back to the UK and wanting to keep your British citizenship because you went and joined the enemy. You left the UK in what, four, five years ago. You suddenly had a change of heart and want to come back to UK soil. Is that how it works nowadays? You wake up one day thinking, I know, I'm gonna go and join Islamic State. I'm going to go to Islamic territory and join them, join ISIS the biggest terrorist organisation in the world that has killed thousands of people. And yet you, Shamima, are on live news trying to get the sympathy vote of I should be allowed a second chance, I should be able to come over and explain my story of how it's been so hard for five years being married to, jih to a jihadi terrorist. And then, because your British citizenship has been revoked, you then decide to then come up with this story on the news that you're going to wait and go to Holland until your jihadi boyfriend gets out of prison. So because you've not got your own way and you've not got this British citizenship or whatever, you're then deciding to hang around for this jihadi husband. You don't care that these people are beheading people. You said it doesn't phase you. So that makes you as bad as them. You might not have committed any crime or any kind of terror, but that makes you as bad as them. You're encouraging it. You're letting it happen. And because you're not enjoying this lovely lifestyle that I couldn't imagine it could be, this lovely big lifestyle with ISIS, you then decide to want to come back to UK territory with your baby. But unfortunately, you're saying you want to keep your child safe. We want to keep our children safe. Our children safe from concerts. Our children safe from airports. We want to keep British people safe. And you're on about you want to keep your child safe. Well, maybe you should have decided that four or five years ago when you decided to make that decision and go and marry a jihadi terrorist and join Islamic State. She says she made some kind of mistake. Well, I'm sorry, but a mistake at 19 is forgetting to put your shoes on or forgetting your keys on a drunken night out. It isn't, you know, I don't know anyone that would wake up one morning and think, ah, oh, tell you what, I'm going to get a uh, flight over to Islamic State, go and join the biggest uh, ISIS terrorist organisation in the world and then commit all this terror and then, what? Decide to come back to the UK. We have our soldiers British American soldiers fighting in these countries to keep us safe and then you've got people with British citizenship like yourself Shamima going over to these organizations and accepting that it's okay to behead people and commit this kind of terror well it's not so unfortunately you're gonna have to stay in Syria and that's the scenario Britain doesn't want you. By the sounds of it, you have no citizenship. So what country actually wants some kind of terrorist coming onto their soil? It doesn't work like that. So you, unfortunately, princess, you've made your bed to lie in it. I've also made a statement that beheading is okay. You married a jihadi. You know, you married a terrorist. You went and joined Islamic State. You once was a British citizenship, but now you're not. 
And as for the sympathy vote of your family saying, oh, it's not fair, it's not fair this, it's not fair that, well, what isn't fair is when our people and our cities are being battered with terror. This is what happened. When someone went and joined Islamic State, got a second chance, came back over to the UK, yeah, I got back into the UK, and then went and blown up a Manchester arena and killed 22 people. That's not justified. This Shamima woman is a danger to the UK, pretty much any country going in the world because she has these contacts, she has terrorist contacts to commit these kind of terror. Why, why would a place like the UK want to have someone like that? The Home Office has made a pretty goddamn decision. Thanks for watching everybody. And this video is about Shamima, the girl that fled to Syria when she was 19 and has a sudden change of heart to come back to the UK and acts like nothing's happened. Until next time, see you later. This woman also has a Wikipedia account. Who cares? Stop giving her press coverage, just forget about her. She has gone and joined Islamic State, let her deal with it, but keep it over there, we don't want her here. Please don't forget to comment on this video on your thoughts about the decision of having Shamima's citizenship revoked. So you can comment below, you can give this video a thumbs up or a dislike, and please don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Cheers.